hello everyone so today i am going to implement improve this projectile prediction system in a way that i can modify the projectile path using the mouse like this so as i move mouse forward i can throw the projectile up the trajectory path is like this and if i move the mouse backward i can throw what i am going to throw downwards and as i if i move the mouse to the right you can see the projectile speed the vertical component of this uh, projectile speed uh, and the horizontal component increases like this so i can throw it to further and if i move it left you can see the direction changes uh, i haven't implemented the character rotation yet i'm gonna do that in a future part and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron right uh, so at the moment we have this if i press left mouse button it shows this projectile path and i can't move the path up down or left or right i can't change anyway the projectile path so today i'm gonna work on uh, how to like move up or down the projectile path that means how to control the angle of throwing so for that first uh, uh, this is my character yeah let's define an input axis uh, with the mouse X no let's first work with mouse Y scale 1 let's call it up down and another one another axis with the mouse X left right okay now let's see no a left right higher ah, yeah. up down Let's print what we get here. When I move the mouse forward and backward, okay. When I move forward, I get a plus value. When I move backward, I get a negative value. Right. So, using that property, uh, let's define a value like this. If, if the axis value is not equal to zero, that means we are either moving it up, moving the mouse forward or backward. I'll add another float variable up down. Now let's call it is it velocity because I am going to use this one as the 
vertical part of the velocity of the throw in velocity so set set velocity like this get the set velocity and add whatever we get here and let's print that okay maybe we need to clamp this somewhere first to reduce the change here I'll multiply this with the decimal value like this uh, no, 0.1 right okay now let's use this z velocity for the trajectory here as for the z component like this now when i move up and down the trajectory changes like this okay cool what if we change this number here right now let's see how to change the vertical speed so vertical speed um, just like for this one uh, uh, axis left right same as here if this one is not equal to zero let's call it instead of horizontal let's call it xy velocity set this like this get this same as here let's multiply it by 0.1 Uh, remove this we don't need it anymore now here get this and multiply with the horizontal component
right now as I move left and right the mouse you can see the projectile path changes like this okay right so I'm going to stop this part here and in the next part I won't work on uh, this uh, this so when I change the side of the projectile the character should turn into that side and also as I increase the projectile speed as the projectile prediction goes out of the screen I need to uh, to keep the last point within the screen I need to modify the camera maybe zoom out a little bit or something like that I want to do something like that okay so and let's stop this episode here and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club a link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye